Okay. Um, what about um, Mike? What about uh, um, Mary? Mary, have you heard about the uh, Pata Shanren? Yeah, probably. I bet probably. Uh, some yeah. Um, this artist is from the um, like um, I um, send the email um the little the instruction um words um from the um the internet and uh, i saw the i i got the google google translation i saw some um words and some uh, sentence a little bit you know weird and uh, i uh, my english is um very limit very limited but i hope if you do not understand uh, if you do not understand or never heard about this uh, artist at all uh it's still uh, i mean make some sense make some sense for you to uh, i mean ignore the uh grammar or any uh, words not perfect for the translation, but understand a little bit at least, uh, you know, um, where uh, this artist come from. Um, and uh, I got the, the painting, sam sa painting sample also attached uh, in our handout. Uh, what I'm thinking is because we are doing uh, the lowest and uh, um, introduce a little bit, you know, some words can put the what kind of styles artist uh, painting uh, the style we are actually study learning uh, learning a little bit, you know, um, not only just the um, the, um, the choreography and also um, match the the paint the paint the painting. Uh, the Zhang Da Zhang Da Chen style, and uh, uh, a few of them are very famous of uh, Lotus. Lotus. Um, Emily, have you ever um, heard about uh, um, Ba Da Shan Ren? Yes. 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 I yes. Love, yes. I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's very very uh, very famous, and also famous with the um, Lotus. And also, you see the um, um, the the art the the, the article. Um, um, this artist, the Ba Da Shan Ren, um, he's learning first. The teacher was very very famous calligrapher, calligrapher, and uh, a few of his teachers is calligrapher. So he trained very well um, calligrapher first, and then. Uh, uh, pen, and then then painting. So I uh, see his pen, he uh, see his painting. Very you can tell right. Very very um, calligraphic. Very very. Um, and uh, you know uh, it's um, simple. Uh, well, should I say simple or concise? Right, concise. Um, you can even you can count. You can count how many strokes. Right, one stroke is one stroke, and the second one. I mean, nothing waste kind of, mm -hmm. it's really from choreography. That's why I said there is no reason for us um, not study anything I mean, about the Bada, Bada Shanren. And Bada Shanren is a lotus with the, you can see the size very kind of oversized, right? And then the perspective kind of from, you know, from bottom up, I always mention it. it's like a look at like a building, <laughs> like the perspective. It's not like the down looking down uh, to the pound, you know, like that, that long stem for that. And uh, um, his uh, historical um, story uh, is from you. You read that right uh, from the from Ming Dynasty and actually kind of the royal fam royal royal, uh, royal family and the uh, um, uh, the descendants descendants on um, how many generations seven seven uh, I don't I don't know the the in the in the, in the article but still you know uh, the royal royal family and em, em, emperor empress um descendants um and then and um, after the uh, Ming dynasty um died and become the Qing dynasty so um you know this kind of person uh artist and from this kind of this kind of family so become very um how's it uh, cynical and uh, aloof 
And all of this, um, he um, expressed a lot in his painting, in his painting, right? In his painting, you can tell, um, mainly his painting is just, uh, you know, birds and the flower, birds and birds and the flower. Very, um, very small amount of landscape, landscape, very concise. And so um, he kind of created his style for um, like a put very um, uh, symbolic meaning um, and put on the flower and the birds, right? Um, the, um, and uh, I look at the, the translation, it doesn't show that, uh, doesn't um, uh, translate very well for the, like a, a, he put the uh, bird's eye or fish eye. Um, <laughs> it's very uh, uh, cynical, uh, I mean, cynical on, of the uh, uh, characterized, uh, this kind of things, like a big eye, um, and with lots of white and the, the little small pupil, like look at others <laughs> that. Uh, but later, um, if you uh, if you want, um, we can, uh, you know, do some things very very. His painting is very um, calligraphy and calligraphy and very 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 simple, very concise and very you know from calligraphy strokes. So it's good for us to study a little bit and uh, you know put the word put some words on that and uh, also um, his painting give lots of you know uh, symbolic meaning um, we can it's very uh, good for good for us to uh, to know to to know it uh, so he uh, created like the um, flower and the birds you know uh, flower and the tree um, you know uh, but can become you know very very majestic, right? Very majestic, very majestic, and very um, um, vigo rose, right? Not like small, small things. Seems very mm, exaggerated. Lots of you can see um, exaggeration there, right? How come the lotus become that big? <laughs> you know, that kind of things. Okay, uh, that's just a uh, uh, study the words first and his um his name is later on uh he 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 the real name is Zhu Da Zhu Da uh is um same last name as the Ming uh, Ming Dynasty the last uh, um em, uh, emperor emperor and uh Ba Da Shan Ren the eight great uh mountain man was his uh, late, late, uh, late year, very late, like the mm, pain name, pain name, his, uh, his pain name. But on his painting, mostly uh, used just uh, Bada, Bada, Bada Shanren. Uh, okay, that's uh, started the, uh, the characters. I think it's easy, right, characters? Uh, I think two or three of them we learned already, but we need to um, review it and always uh, practice. Okay, first is the number eight. Number eight. Oh, uh, he is the uh, he is the artist, and later, after the Ming Dynasty died, uh, he became the monk. So very aloof and. Uh, shows in his paint, painting. Uh, okay, this is just the number eight in Chinese character. So two, uh, two uh, strokes, uh, look at the uh, sample. So two strokes on um, press and uh, uh, I mean uh, slant to the left and the press to the right. Very simple, right? Okay, then we do it standard style first. Two strokes, very easy. Um, left strokes, slant, press and the lift. Right, 
And the right one uh, start a little bit higher. Yeah, you can look at the handout again, a little bit higher, remember that, a little bit higher. And never touch, put them a little bit apart. But look at the whole like the tendency, the dynamic things, make them still like the one character, right? Like balance the one left, uh, one right, keep it balanced. Yeah, even apart, right? Okay, and then um, walking style. So there is not that much different or um, significant different or the border in between walking and the the um, con, uh, I mean the uh, cursive the running walking and the running just the two strokes. Um, but connected. See this one I choose. Actually, there are a lot. Cannot just really tell different, you know. Um, like two dots, actually. Look at the handout. Okay. So you do either this way, either this way, or this way. Understand what I'm talking what, what what I'm talking about. So like your cir circle circle things, either from the press and the lift, right? Either from the from the bottom you do that, or from the top you do that. Understand? You can do either way, either way, to make those two strokes. Yeah. yeah. Um, they have relationship in between, okay, even apart. Mm -hmm. Like one left and the one right, uh, but we are a whole thing together, balanced the whole thing. Okay, and then uh, cursive style, running style, uh, same thing, <laughs> exactly same thing. That two strokes, sometimes it depends on, you know, different persons writing. Okay. Um, I can even call this is running, this is walking. Just really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The two strokes con like connected with some friendship, with some friendship. Yeah. Or sometimes that. Sometimes do that. And actually, look at the look at the painting, um, the Ba Da Shan Ren um, play. Play with that, play with that. And that in our um, clerical style shows a little bit. He does sometimes a little bit like that. <laughs> you know, do like kind of the clerical, but on the painting and your signature, you know, you know we talk about uh, shows a lot of, lot of your, um, you know, uh, very uh, characterized, characterized, you know, your signature. And there is a joke later, I'll talk about that, about the, um, his, uh, sig uh, his signature. And after we learn the whole four characters, I will, uh, I will talk about that. Okay, so this is the eight, the number, uh, the number eight. Oh, by the way, uh, you know, Chinese do um, um, say eight, normally Chinese say, <laughs> that, that. See my, see my uh, fingers. Yeah. I need to say <laughs> this, this is eight. <laughs> so two strokes. Understand? This yeah. is eight. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I help you to remember <laughs> this is eight. Okay, and then a uh, clerical style. The two strokes and uh, um, need to think about in one character uh, balanced to make it become the whole thing. Just remember that, okay? Standard like that. And this is just, okay, uh, remember how backstroke conceal, uh, con clerical style always conceal the tip, make it not sharp and bounce back a little bit, you know? because it's carving, right? Kind of carving thing. And the whole thing 
flat. Because before um, we talk about always like a vertical line, vertical line. Uh, that's why um, like say to save space probably uh, to make the clerical style, you know, on the on the bam, on the bamboo, the bamboo like blinds like things mm -hmm. like a bamboo book, save the uh, the space. So uh, clerical style carving very, very short, very flat actually. Okay, this character, I think I talked, um, I talked about that many, 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 many times, right? Many, many times. Um, this is the large. I said, um, like a center thing um, is press and the, uh, uh, I mean, slant, slant and the press is the people person, right? And become a large, open your arm. <laughs> horizontal stroke and they become large, big, and the, the meaning also, also um, extended to the great, you know, great. <laughs> so English put um, Bada Shannon's name sometimes uh, in, uh, I mean, translate to the eight great mountain man. <laughs> okay, it's so also great. Okay, uh, standard style first make a little bit like the pause and then go, right? Always go a little bit, a little bit up, you know, for the uh, best balance and the beauty for the horizontal. It's not very horizontal, a little bit up instead of down, okay? Do not go down. And like a big slant. And then uh, even larger uh, press. We say one stroke dominate normally in characters, right? This is the dominant dominant uh, stroke, so it's the biggest. Okay, the horizontal one about like the two two thirds two thirds high of the uh, whole characters. Um, yeah, do not uh, make it too high. Um, and this space will become too small, right? The whole thing doesn't look very good. It's like the shoulder size. And I said, I opened the, the, the arms, right? So do not make it too tall. Um, the walking class just easily become faster riding and the last press become um, faster doing lots of places that the press become the dot and then a little bit of backstroke and start to, you know, for other characters, right? And the, after the horizontal, a little bit of connection for starting the slant. Okay, so look at my writing. Not that much press. Okay, press here and uh, look at my brush. A little bit connect actually do that. That's very common. Cannot really, but look at the handout, right? Look at the handout a little bit and uh, some you can see uh, the bigger kind of the uh, the circle circle thing, but uh, this doesn't show that much. But uh, since I said, you can notice, right? A little bit like that. Yeah. So the connect part, uh, the walking, walking style and the running style, cursive style, normally you can do like a brush, even, you know, um, doesn't lift, doesn't leave the paper, you know, that's why lots of connection, you know, and uh, some uh, very connected, looks like the repeat. <laughs> okay, there's a little bit of change in order, not just uh, the last stroke become the uh, dot. 
change the order, the horizontal is common. Horizontal always from left to right, right? And in the uh, even walking style, even the, uh, um, the running style, very common to change the order. See, so horizontal become right to left <laughs> to make the whole thing, um, you know, uh, more fast riding. Uh, and this, but this is common. Okay, from right to left. And then this, and then. Yeah, probably do it, you know, uh, the dot uh, bigger and uh, this not too long. Mm, my this circle is too wrong, um, too wrong the shaped. I do not like it. And uh, I said, uh, it's, you know, need to show some like a squarish triangle things, you know, so-called calligraphy joke, because what? Because I know this, uh, um, the stroke from what? From the horizontal one first, right? And uh, from then connect and then become slant and the dot, right? So here and here need to, you know, do a little bit like the, um, hard folder, not that hard, but shows not very rounded, well shows the more beauty, okay? And, uh, but this circle, even from right to left, um, a little bit of slant, but not that, that much, uh, thinking about it's still from horizontal. So yeah, do not go too vertical <laughs> looking. Oh. And then this one, we can, we can guess, right? I always said from the standard uh, we learned and, and uh, guess it was uh, in the clerical style. Okay, uh, now not brush, now try the carving and uh, kind of the plow uh, power. Okay, uh, conceal the tip and then go. Back a little bit like that. Uh, only one stroke, like the goose tail flying, right? Okay, so now this one can be the press, can be the uh, horizontal, become the goose tail flying. Choose one, okay. And here, on uh, cause flatten it. So here, the top is very small. Whole thing to the style is um, very flat, right? Okay, now press become flying. Slower, 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 cause carving stuff, not brush. Slower. Mm -hmm. I mean, compare with the, this press, compare with the standard style. Standard style, you are using brush on paper. And this, you need to think about carving on the stone or holding the, you know, we, in Chinese, we say um, the drill, drill to write, use the drill to write on the sand, mm -hmm. use that kind of a power. Um, but probably, I don't know, nowadays, less people understand the drill. <laughs> um, so you stick, stick, you play the, uh, at the uh, sand beach, probably kids like to do that, use a stick to write on the sand. Okay, this mountain, I think we learned before, but we, um, um, Mary, you came later, you didn't learn that. Michael, you didn't learn, but I bet you know it. Do, do you know it in Japanese, the same thing? Okay, yeah. So this mountain um, we talked about, it looks, looks like the mountain, right? Mountain, looks like the mountain. So uh, standard style first. Do the center one, do the center, the tallest, the, the most tall mountain first.
and then uh, two small mountains, but in order of left one first, and then fold it, become the horizontal like the earth on the bottom. And then the other mountain, the right hand, uh, to make those two a little bit different, the right one usually lar larger, taller, a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Any cap any characters uh, normally at the ending, right? I talked about like the whole um, whole thing at the end, um, a little bit heavier, um, give you very stable looking things um, at the end. Uh, walking style, uh, less press. Uh, looks like uh, sometimes people you can think of less caring. So, because for some normally in a walking style for practical use for faster riding, mm -hmm. but of course can be very stylish. Mm -hmm. Okay, do. Um, uh, uh, uh. Almost the same, just. Uh, not that um, press some uh, things that much. Running style change the order. You can think about like the two mountains from left to right. First one, so not the not the center one first. It goes um, first one and the kind of lift. And that doesn't need to be connected, but your chi, your whole dynamic things continue actually. The center one and a little bit like that and do that. Very common ride, riding the mountain in uh, cursive style, running style like that. Still, um, some people ride the mountain uh, didn't do uh, the cursive style like that. It looks like the two parts. Um, some people do just based on the walking style, based on walking, uh, do that. Okay, look at me, same, still same order of the um, walking style, but faster. Do the center first. Yeah, see my writing. Yeah, mm. some people also do that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, but some people think this way uh, is very artistic <laughs> and just very, just it depends. Uh, both of them are very common, very common. Um, you can remember like the um, a group of mountain, three of them, uh, center one taller and left and the right one and the bottom is earth uh, horizontal so and the change shape a little bit uh, this uh, clerical style actually clerical style first then simplified right uh, this one become very not become actually this looks very uh, even more mountain thing so uh, in the center it's like the people person do the vertical and then more real mountain thing. And then left mountain simplified just the, uh, the vertical one. And uh, they are all connected. This clerical style looks very dignified <laughs> mountain, right? Okay. Not hard, but I like these characters. You know, very fun to write. Okay, this, um, uh, the third, uh, um, I mean, the people one, I think we learned many times. Mm, standard style first, press. Lit, I mean, uh, I mean the uh, slant and then press. 
Okay. Uh, any question about this calculus? No question. Okay, now I have question. Tell me what different from the number number eight, the ba, the number eight. These people characters, what different from the first characters we learned the ba? What different? Uh, they are uh, they are connected. Connected, <laughs> yes, yes, connected. And uh, uh, also the left one higher, left one higher, the press from here. Okay, from here, uh -huh. not, not, we talking about eight, it's from here, right? And apart, they are connected for the person, people. The so press, I uh, mean slant and the press. Uh, same thing walking, uh, very, very similar walking and uh, uh, running. Yes, press. Um, in this people, um, person, the characters, um, press stroke, last stroke, um, heavier. You can write it a little bit longer or, you know, uh, shows the press a little bit stronger than the slant one. You know, just too fast. That's the basic uh, concept of the walking uh, from the standing, right? <laughs> okay, running, I just cannot tell. I, I had a hard time to choose one, try to show different, there is no. Nah. Doesn't matter, yeah. Okay, this one, just with no uh, sharp and sharp tip thing, right? The cloud style, basically. Back, 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 and then too tall, my character is clerical, supposed very flat. Sorry. Slowly, 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 because on the sand or say um, it's carving on the stone. Mm -hmm. It makes different um, the end when you lift the speed and the power you use thinking, thinking, thinking about the kind of the plow things to the end. Mm -hmm. Slowly, do, uh, do no, no, no swaving. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, anything? Um, and any questions so far? No. Okay. Okay. And do the let's start the start uh, the the painting. And the some uh, characters story, I saved for uh, later <laughs> about the. Uh, Ba Da Shen, Ba Da Shen, uh, signature. Um, it's a ver it's a vertical painting, right? Um, my paper a little bit too wide, I think of the the proportion. But anyway, I'm using the uh mulberry mulberry number one, uh, with no uh, stringing looking thing. I'm just use some uh some uh, pa uh paper available today, uh, and uh, cause some uh. The very uh xie yi, the meaning meaning right meaning right <laughs> uh painting. Um and uh, just use this kind of a semi, semi, semi-sized, semi-sized. Okay, so um this uh composition um first um, it doesn't matter just um, I mean where to start right looks like the the uh, kind of this kind of the uh, signature I mean the triangle thing right triangle thing and there is a first do some um, hold here uh, do some diagonal things uh, uh, balance with the top things right you try to I try to do some um, the dark leaves first. Let's start here. Okay. 
yeah, try two things. You can tell um, doesn't have to be, because since you do use freestyle, the things changed every, every second, every minute. So you understand the meaning, right? This kind of the shape of the leaves. Um, and then, yeah, for this, uh, if you want, you can, you can do this, roll your um, brush to do, and do a little bit like that. And uh, because center a little bit, um, uh, say, um, concave, concave, right? Center a little concave. So for the back thing, the back wing thing, we can, we can, we can see like that, right? From that. And then better, I think, use the same ink to do the, for the one lot lotus for the leaf and the stem. Otherwise, you know, later for the lighter uh, leaves, so the stem a little bit uh, different, different. Um, okay, and then remember, okay, two here, and remember of the old way, do not sweep too fast, go slow, slow. And the thinking about the plow, plow, even smooth uh, ground, thinking about the go slow and the plow things, you know, uh, not, not very um, straight, not a perfect straight, but need very powerful plow, plow, plow. Mm -hmm. Do that. Um, and then um, another thing, like the kind of the less darker, um, I can use a little, dip a little bit ink, I mean, you do a little bit of water. almost touched, I mean, the half uh, better, I use the, some waste paper uh, to put underneath to make this uh, edge things, the leaf. Okay, uh, still need to think where is the, um, the center, right? It, the, the center is about, uh, I think the center is about the, 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 ad, at the edge, right? Doesn't have to be the same length. I also look at uh, your composition. Yeah, you understand the, the meaning. Okay, and then uh, the stem for this one, this is the center, right? Center thing. Then the stem, I can see here in the group, but never parallel and then never be straight. Um, then I think I need to um, change the lighter, cannot, my brush is too big, cannot get very light <laughs> ink after the choreography, the larger uh, bristle with really dark, lots of ink, even the rest of ink there. So then become, uh, then other uh, leaves, mm. light and the center we saw that right about the same uh, level for that one overlap 
uh, do not want exactly the same size, right? A little bit. Okay, that's about it. And uh, so here, um, another, a little bit darker, um, another kind of the leaves to make the, those two not very uh, like the same thing, right? So a little bit like that shows overlapped. Uh, you can see a little bit the parts of the leaves here like that. Okay, and also on the top, a little, a little bit things. Can do very kind of abstract or some things very, uh, not very defined. And then um, there is the um, bud, lotus bud, almost to the very top. So as we said, do the go very slow stroke. Right, and the other. Something like, like a small things here. And then we do the lowest those uh, two or three uh, lighter leaves seems doesn't have that um, stem, right? The stems belongs to this bud. So three of the stems. Um, okay, look at the bottom. Uh, this stem cross the first stem, right? But three of them in uh, the group and never parallel. Also for the single one, no absolute stroke, I uh, mean the straight, but need to be very powerful. Go plow, plow, remember, plow. And uh, skip this, right? Okay, in the, in, the, in, in, in the back, you can do that. And you can do that. Remember to cross it, to cross it. Plow, 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 slow, 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 slow. Yeah, something like that. Need to plow, go very first. And when you your arm uh, and, and you hold your brush very powerful and uh, this shows power, shows plow power, uh, uh, the power. Otherwise, uh, we say we do not want the dead snake on the tree. Okay, you do not want bad things. Yeah or, um, you know, like the string just uh, hanging on the tree. This is the life things. So need to be and support the big leaves and the, the, the sickle that tall. Uh -huh. uh, so need to be very powerful too. Um, and also um, you see the flower, flower. Um, could this flower could be um, before, I think, do this first. Here, some petals, some petal, petals, right? It just, you know, do that that way, right? Center, we cannot really see. You know, Bada Shanren does a lot, a lot like the, um, from the, um, like upper looking of the lotus with a long stem, upper looking and see the bottom or the back of the flower petal. No, not center. So just do some, you know, do some uh, petals there, show stroke, that's it. And uh, here, I think I, some things, not same length, huh? same perfect, not same perfect, the bow, bow shape. You know, just some of the style. Shows the bottom or the back of the flower. No center at all because it's tall. Uh -huh. And uh, do I get all the flower? Uh, seems here, here some, some things, some flower, some petals.
you know, some overlap things. Okay, and then um, we always um, choose the order of uh, do the important <laughs> things, right? So now I think the, the birds, the birds, right? Uh, the birds very, um, okay, uh, the birds about about here and the, my, uh, my paper a little bit, I mean, short and wider than the original anyway. Uh, um, okay, the head on um, on his head, the bird do this a little bit, right? A little bit, and then like the peak, like this direction, right? The two strokes help. And then the back, um, back looking, right? Uh, so his back, like a little bit of ink work here. And then um, Ba Da Shan, ba da -shan always do the, um, a little bit of like a, like a one, two, three for the, uh, the lower, um, further, lower fur. Head, shoulder, belly thing. And can the tail can use the dryer um, brush to do like a two to three strokes. Um, some people from the, I think this is very small, from the bottom, from the end, the press and the lift, easier to do the shape of the bird. <coughs> Bird's tail and, and the here very uh, to do the, um, the feet, the leg. Okay, eye. Just dot the eye. Okay, and then the rock, right? The rock. Crawl. And we talk about like a three size, three size kind of nose thing, right? That's it. And the horizontal things use plow stroke, but not parallel the straight line. And some uh, plants here, and uh, like the some plants like that. Okay, that's the bird there, and then. Uh, Bird's head is too big. <laughs> okay, um, and then here some um, bank or uh, you know uh, the water in water uh, in between water and the bank. Uh, some things on the right hand side. Same level, but not exactly the same thing. You can depend on, yeah, plow stroke, always remember. Calligrapher, Bada is calligrapher, and we are doing calligraphy and the uh, practice things and the calligraphy style. Some green, some vertical, th things here indicated and the horizontal things. And here in between connect them. Plow stroke, always plow stroke, no matter what direction.
um, that's uh, that's about it. That's about it. Actually, he does some light light ink here, right? Light ink. Okay, okay, okay. I need some light ink here. Like a little bit more. Oh, even darker. My brush. That's it, don't want too much things overdoing. Okay, then um, talk about the name. Do you see the name, uh, see the uh, signature there and the seal there, see, uh, seal there. Is um, his name, uh, Bada Shanren, and also other, um, characters. Um, I think I, Talk about the characters. See anybody remember that? What's radical for that? The top bamboo, like two bam, like two bamboo leaves, right? Bamboo. We said the one, two, three, right? Like that, right? Okay. This is a, with two of them. It's a bamboo top, bamboo radical top, right? And the bottom is kind of like the uh, side, but with this a little bit slant things. Mm -hmm. I didn't do this very good because too apart here. So this is the um, this is the character for smile. Smile. And other characters I, I mentioned, but we didn't learn. Uh, what kind of this element I'm writing? Two mouth is to write two mouth. Mm -hmm. And uh, bottom is this character for. <laughs> dog for dog. So this is a uh, cry. And uh, become cursive writing, become cursive writing. Do you think those two characters look a little bit alike? Yes, yes, right? Okay, and uh, see bottom a little bit like like a star, like a, like a sky, uh, like or the character of the big, large, right? And the top, you know, something like a two, two mass, two mass of something, right? Two mass of something. Okay, so become cursive style. It's really like each like each other, look at this become cursive, right? Like the smile become like that, like that, like the K and S and then, you know, something like that or like that so the sky you know something bottom very like that and the bottom and and the uh, top you know two mass of them some things and the cry become uh cursive style it's like see the one dot this direction and the, some connection and then back a little bit indicated a two mouth, you know, two somethings uh, mass. And then the bottom, like the, like the large, like the big or things you can do um, like that. Or you can do 
some people do like not the a different order, same order like that. So look at those two characters. It's really, really not that much different. Not that much different, right? Looks if you um, put the, like the like the image things or look afar, um, far from looks really you know the the contour contour line outside is really alike alike, and. Uh, Ba Da Shan Ren, Ba Da Shan Ren. Uh, we talk about the characters, right? He writes Ba Da in vertical, vertical in vertical, in vertical. Okay. Two dots. This is eight, right? This is eight, right? And then the large or the great. This is a ba da. This is two characters, right? This is two characters. Does it looks like a smile or crying? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, and other characters. Uh, uh, I don't know. It seems. Uh, do we learn the dot and uh, the horizontal and then the like, zigzag things and the big press? Uh, first tone. Zhi is the. Uh, the meaning is of or it. Okay. And the when it become uh, cursive or walking, just like the dot and uh, press and of course you know things like the big press here okay that's the it uh, ba da. this is two characters of the artist name already right and then uh, shan uh, the mountain the mountain Mountain people, mountain people, put together, put together, uh, artists write it. Dot. And the press. Mountain already, right? This, this is a mountain, right? This is a mountain, right? Mm. Yes. And mm. the people, the last character for the artist is people, right? So this is mountain people. Does, does it look like the laugh or cry? <laughs> the char this character, uh, mountain people, looks like uh, this is off or it, right? Right? Hmm. OK, so he put his name together. Um, always like always like the quiet uh, smile or laugh laugh at it crying at it or <laughs> and some people but how you know when he write when he write the um uh, the uh, quiet or smile it or laugh 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 at it or laugh it um depends on some people say it depends on his mood, his um, uh, content of the painting, content of mm. the painting. And these two, like two eye, this ba, ba, 
you know, like the two eyes, like two eyes or two an um, eyebrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, if you think if you think uh, it's a smile, <laughs> it's a smile. If you think it's crying, <laughs> it's crying. So a uh, kind of a same stroke for whole thing, whole thing. Sometimes he wrote like to start. You know, looks like you know, um, crying, angry. You know, to start this eye thing or eyebrow things, and then uh, the large, and the great, do that, and the mountain people. You know, look at his uh, signature, kind of like that, right? But just depend on those two, those two thoughts, like things. Uh, do some uh, crying uh, face or smiling face. Yeah, sometimes probably uh, very, you know, happy, happy things. Oh, yeah, very light, very happy, happy things to do, right? You know, and the large and the mountain, and the people, you know, it looks happy and you're smiling things. You know, it's hard to uh, tell uh, exactly for Chinese people. Uh, see, this is very alike, very alike. This is smiling, this is crying. So he does on, pur on purpose, he put those two characters together, two characters mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I, uh, what I, uh, what I mean, uh, uh, um, the story to talk about his signature. So love it, I mean, laugh it or cry it. Uh, very, we talk about, right? Very um, cynical, very cynical and um, character, characterized person, uh, very aloof, you know, become the monk. But his painting is very um, symbolic and very um, expressive, expressive. And the beside, I mean, the after that, we learned the character for write, write or paint, right? He always write. See the on the painting, uh, the grass style for the right, right, like roof radical, uh, for the top, rooftop, and then like that. And then kind of the, the hunchback things and back a little bit. That's the um, uh, character for uh, cursive, the right. So this is a painting, right? This is a painting, but artist, he's painting lots of his painting, only ink, ink water. He wrote, he said, right. After name, he put a right instead of a paint draw. He put a right because this kind of painting is what we call uh, uh, meaning meaning writing, idea writing painting, right? Xie yi, and uh, his painting is a large, big uh, meaning uh, idea writing, right? Some a, a little bit not very clear, not very defined. We call uh, small xie yi. His painting is a large xie yi, but still xie. Um, that's all. All also one of the reason I bring his painting, his painting to our calligraphy uh, class. <laughs> Cause it's right, it's, it's right. He put right, yeah, check your, um, hand right, uh, check your uh, hand out, we learned the right. And he always, instead of paint joy, he put the right for his painting. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um, any questions so far? I, I want to hear from you some some words. Victoria? Yes. This is Mike. Uh, first off, I, I think his composition is really great. And also, I noticed that for uh, Eastern, the the eye goes from the le uh, right to left. So it goes from up to the bird and then up to the uh, flower. But does is there does he ever use color? Is it ever color? Very less. Uh -huh. 
very less, very yeah. less. Um, but um, if you want, um, if you want, I think you can use a little bit, a, 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 a little, a little, a little bit, um, like the um, amber color here, or some indigo, uh, very, very elegant, very elegant color. Uh, indigo, in, indigo on the on the on the on the leaves. That would be nice, and uh, a little bit, you know, to um do the um, counter line on of the uh, lotus petals. You can use the pink or um on cinnabar or even vermilion things. That's fine. That's fine. Just fine. Uh, yeah. But the uh, style still uh, Bada Shanren's style. Mm -hmm. Most of his painting is just the ink. And also, uh, that's why I mentioned, probably you cannot um, recognize his writing of the, in the um, cursive style. Uh, it's right, he put a right there. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. And also very concise, the, the painting, right? You can count, I mean, you can tell which stroke, which stroke, that's it, nothing really, wash that much or make things uh, yeah that's his style but um yeah i tell the story historically about his life mm -hmm. okay um any um any uh, questions on uh, or any um yeah, I, don't and, and, a, I don't have a question. I just, I just found this all very fascinating. I love the um, sort of visual pun that he um, creates with his name because I'm sort of into that in uh, Western calligraphy as well. So it's just, I, I just fascinating. Thank you so much for adding that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I said um, because I think I, I think I think I'll move to um, uh, some phrase for I mentioned for rose <laughs> or for some things and uh, but I think because um, now um, my um, uh, my uh, lotus is in the um, uh, backyard is blooming and I said oh, I just uh, we we cannot we cannot omit om omit the Bada Shanren's uh, mm -hmm. lotus. And also, um, he is famous of um, um, to paint uh, flowers, not just the flower, you know, very um, um, exaggeration, lots of exaggeration, very majestic, uh, not just the, uh, the plants, you know, put lots of uh, very uh, like large, enlarged the meaning um, of that, you know, looks huge, you know, you feel like tall, taller than in the building. <laughs> See the mountain or little rocks here, and the whole come look like that. Anyway, his style, I just, uh, oh, my favorite, my 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 favorite, because <laughs> I didn't do pain, pain, painting a lot, um, but you know some uh, from calligraphy and something extended to the painting and the, his painting, and also uh, other person Xu Wei. Uh, he Bada learned from, and also um, the uh, the uh, I mean the Li Keran. Uh, we just we just learned with the red red flower things. So I want I, I want to introduce the Bada Shanren. Um, he's the person you cannot. I mean we, he also could go for. Uh, can we cannot miss it in our class? And also I think we want to do more. Um, you know practice study. Uh, study and later I think I will post some picture of the uh, the real lotus in my garden and the next time what about um, we do some things ourselves <laughs> ourselves uh, do the lotus you can um, put some uh, liquor liquor and style we just learned a couple of class before um, with the uh, red flower or something or you can do this kind of abstract things, um, majestic things, you know, just for, you know, homage to Li Keran, homage to Bada Shanren, <laughs> or uh, like a, uh, Emily says, for play with the, um, the image of the, the, the characters. Also, uh, yeah, I think she does some uh, study of uh, in, English, in English and put them 
together or some like the um, image the sign like things like a shu bings <laughs> the way to do some things put it yeah it's uh, very interesting very interesting um, okay any um, other questions I, I had one you said yeah, there yeah, was yeah. some symbolic meaning to the to some of his paintings does this one have any Mm, um, okay. Um, uh, very okay. To the um, he called himself like the mountain man, mountain person, and also become the uh, very aloof, right? Um, away from the real, um, real life. <laughs> I mean, a uh, real um, I mean, city or um, governments he doesn't like. Uh, you know, become a monk, uh, and from Ming Dynasty's death uh, to the Qin Dynasty, um, you know, uh, shows lots of you know, you know, silico, silic, you know, um, yeah, silico, uh, um, things. You see, um, I don't know how to explain. Um, see, on uh, the uh, the plants, not just the very kish. Um, red, pink things, but with lots of uh, power. This tall and uh, like the um, from bottom uh, up looking, uh, respect only uh, the flower and the symbolic of the flower is so tall. I respect them. I like to talk to them. I live just um, conversation with them. And they are taller. Uh, what about the, the life? Uh, you know the the official things. I do not like only that uh, in my mountain. Uh, and also, this not very uh, the birds one very uh, not very um, obvious. And some other birds and the fish. And uh, he and uh, he did like the fish. Uh, I said the fish eye. And he give, we uh, in Chinese we say big white uh, eyes, you know, put the big eye with the white, just the paper, uh, the paper white, and the little bit of small, uh, the, the pu pu pupil things in here, or the pupil hang on up like that. So it's like the people very um, cynical, you know, to the social, to express things, the, pe the, uh, bir the birds I like like. Like that and the fish I like, like that. Um, symbolic uh, express himself, uh, you know, uh, from things. Um, uh, he doesn't like the the the, the, the society and uh, that time his time you know changing to the other. Um, um, dynasty, uh, dynasty, some things like that. Uh, right. I, but, I understand. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, but it seems uh, uh, next time probably I show his uh, callig calligraphy. Um, it's not everywhere shows anger um, or angry person. Mm, not like that. Actually, um, I think he uh, uh, digest. You know, digest um, his. Um, uh, anger and angry very well already, and um, digest things very well. And um, he had a hard time for um, mental uh, mental illness, better and worse for about like 10, 10, 10 years. Um, um, and uh, but doesn't show any um, show show things very um sad. Synced, not uh, the angry to talk, angry to do, very rush, not like that. Uh, seems very experienced, and now is uh, uh, everything sink down. You know, the sank, <laughs> uh, deep breath already uh, shows a lot of that, but very aloof to the <laughs> society. Uh, call himself a mountain person. <laughs> okay.
Okay, um, I, I, I hope uh, I introduce things and if you like, you, uh, you can um, uh, Google, Google, th Google things and uh, understand more. And uh, I can post uh, some more uh, pictures uh, uh, last time and in Hangout or in, the, in our classroom, in our classroom. And the next time uh, I'm thinking uh, we can do some things, you know, uh, do ourselves things. <laughs> we can use color things, but the way, you know, the plow stroke uh, or the composition things with the um, the flower thing, the flower things, the lotus things can be very majestic, <laughs> can be very majestic kind of abstract. You got this kind of thinking, we, 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 we do something ourselves, uh, you know, depend on the, uh, the photo of the real, lot real lotus, we do some things, you know, uh, the flower from side or from the bottom uh, with no, uh, no center will be okay. And the leaves, how to do. I think so far we learned. Uh, I saw your home homeworks or shows your um, attempts of the lotus flower. You have done very very good already, but I, I yeah, hope you enjoy it and then we can do you know uh, more things and uh, uh, understand. Uh, do some study of uh, the famous uh, um, person artist with the lotus, yeah. Li Keran and the Badashan. Thank okay. Uh, yeah, happy painting, and you can study more. I will uh, post the real, real photos and also um, a few um, Bada Shan's painting in the classroom uh, after 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 class. And uh, um, see you next time, next class. Uh, get ready. We will do our own. Um, <laughs> you can think about the composition and uh, try to practice some to um, to feel, you know, to feel the way to do um, Li Keran style, uh, the plow stroke, you know, and also Ba Da Shan Ren's painting. Ba Da Shan Ren, okay, Li Keran um, used plow stroke, right? And also we talk about his um, finger painting. So it's really kind of, uh, not that uh, hard, stiff, you know, strokes, firm strokes like that. Cause the finger, you cannot absorb that much uh, ink, right? So do things very, very firm and very power, powerful. And also Ba Da Shan Ren's, um, um, uh, he likes, um, he's the bold brush, bold brush. Uh, which means, um, cause writing for writing first calligrapher, right? And then the people uh, use that to never throw away and become really, you know, loss, loss, loss of uh, hairs and they become really bold, <laughs> bold. So he, Ba Da Shan Ren used a lot of a bold, the bold brush. And then his style become probably uh, even not with the bold, bold brush, but still use always like the brush straight, not slant. Slant seems very flat, very flat, not very powerful. He, okay, consider the brush, hold it straight to become like the uh, stick, like a bold brush <laughs> to do that. Okay, so we, we, we learned a way, you know, from the different persons and put them together, you know, uh, for our um, use. <laughs> and next time we try to uh, uh, learn the way and um, use the way to do our own and uh, depend on the real picture or you can um, compost, compost yours. <laughs>